We are getting ready to go for Chris's birthday dinner. Yeah. Anyways, if you guys please do me a favor and wish Chris a happy birthday in the comments below, that would be really sweet of you, and I would really appreciate it. Um, I'm finally starting to feel a little bit better. We actually took the day and did kind of easy things because I haven't been feeling very well the past few days. Um, so tomorrow will be a big adventure day. So if you've stuck around with us this far, I just want to say thank you for sticking through um, even maybe not such adventurous days. Um, and I'm sure that my audio has been kind of blah as well because like I said, I haven't been feeling well. So I'm feeling better um, and tomorrow is a whole brand new day. Fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. Such a beautiful purple tree. So we're headed to this restaurant. We don't even know if it's going to be open because today is Jose Diego's birthday. And literally, it's been a holiday every day that we've been here. So we had Good Friday. Then the only day that wasn't a holiday was Saturday. Then Sunday was Easter. Now Monday is Jose Diego's birthday. So yeah, hopefully, this place is open. Apparently this restaurant, you park and they shuttle you, and here's my thoughts on that. This is be like a gringo thing. Mm -hmm. For sure. I haven't been shuttled anywhere else anywhere else. It's not going to be careful shuttling. Oh yeah, that's the way to go. While I find it funny that this shuttle picks people up so that they don't have to walk to the restaurant because it's kind of a fancier restaurant, I guess, um, I am kind of glad that they're doing the shuttle tonight because it's raining. So, I mean, not that I'm against walking in the rain. I have no problem walking in the rain, but it, it, was, it did make it a little bit nicer, I guess. <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay, crab rolls. Oh, perfect. I am the bartender, but right now I just somebody else because Literally every single person that we had an interaction with at this restaurant was so extremely nice and helpful. And just, I mean, all around you could tell they were good people. Okay, the way that this restaurant works is they catch whatever they're going to serve for the day and they bring it in. So I think today's was yellowtail tuna and then rainbow something. Um, I don't know, but there was a bunch of stuff and it sounded delicious. So we're going to check out their menu. All of so good. Um, I think I'm actually going to go with these little conch things, conch and shrimp fritters. Um, I definitely know I want beans and rice, so I'm just kind of going to modge podge my meal together. Chris is going to get fish tacos and supreme fries with a birthday beer. These are the conch fritters. There's my beans and rice. Mm, looks so good. Uh, there's Chris's supreme fries and his fish tacos and there's his birthday beer so we're gonna go ahead and enjoy our meal and grab something to eat and I guess join us for Chris's birthday dinner. So far, everything has been delicious, just like we anticipated it would be. These are those weird little conch and shrimp fritters. I'm just gonna see what this is like. It's actually pretty delicious. It's a lot different than our conch fritters, um, but it was actually really, really, really good. Like, super, super good. 
uh the rice and beans i've been craving these like all week and i'm hoping that they are as good as the rice and beans that i had in los Cielos the last time i was in puerto rico i'll let you know in just a minute if they are or not I'm gonna have like quadruplets or something uh, everything was ridiculously delicious um, I don't think that these rice and beans were quite as good as the ones from Los Cielos but everything else was fantastic um, I'm just telling our waitress that we need a box to go uh, so I can eat this later but um, if you're ever in this area of Rincon I would definitely suggest this restaurant for sure like the food is one of a kind. It's definitely unique. Uh, these conch and shrimp fritters are probably by far one of the best things I've ever tried. They were so unique. Uh, I would actually learn, like to learn how to make them. So um, anyways, we are going to finish up here. We're going to pay our bill and then I think we might go into town up to the bakery and maybe get something sweet, but I don't know. I don't really have any room left. I'm super full. It's raining so hard that they had to go from the golf cart to a minivan. <laughs> we are headed back to the car now. We'll see you when we get back to the Airbnb. 